axial imaging perspective, you know, you don't have to be a radiologist here. You know, you just have to know some, some basic things. So like we talked about already, right? We, we should be able to figure some of this out. When I'm, when I'm looking at axial imaging, this is anterior, this is posterior, right? I can see my spinal column back here, my vertebra, right? This is all gonna be anterior, posterior. You're picturing the person basically laying on the table there and you're looking at them from their feet up. I'm looking at the patient's left side here and I'm looking at their right side here, okay? Now the most, there's four chambers here. We have one, two, three, four, right? Now, what chamber is three? The third chamber is gonna be the left atrium. How do I know that? It's the most posterior chamber. Again, if you just remember where these chambers are located, you can figure some of this stuff out. What do you think two is? Two is gonna be the right ventricle. Why? Because it's located more, more anteriorly. What's this big thing in the middle? Ventricular septum, right? So this must be the left ventricle, which makes up a pretty significant portion of the left side of the heart. And this must be the right atrium, which makes up a pretty significant portion of the right border of the heart. Okay, so all the things that we've kind of already talked about, and you can see a little bit of the descending aorta here uh, as well. Now, when we're looking at this cut, we're actually gonna go up a little bit. So instead of just seeing the descending aorta, we can actually see the ascending, let me use a different color here because that one's tough to see. You can actually see the ascending aorta over here, right? Because remember, the aorta is going to come off from the left ventricle. It's going to go up and it's going to come down through the descending aorta. Okay, and then this thing in the middle, this is the pulmonary trunk. This is lighting up with contrast. Okay, but you can see with all this contrast, we have a darker color region through the pulmonary trunk here. This is going to be a pulmonary embolus, okay? Particularly a saddle embolus, because it kind of looks like a saddle a little bit going through the pulmonary trunk on both sides, through both pulmonary arteries. Okay, so this is very classic for pulmonary embolus. I just want you to know two pathologies by looking at these, these axial cuts. The first one is you, you should know what a saddle pulmonary embolus looks like, okay? When you see all this contrast and you see this, this clot here between them, that's very classic for pulmonary embolus. So just, just understand that's one thing you're looking for if they show you an image with a similar cut to this. The other thing you wanna look for is you wanna look to see if there's gonna be any false lumen, okay? If there's a false lumen, you might be thinking about an aortic dissection, okay? So that's the other thing. If you're looking at a cut, that looks like this, you're looking for a false lumen or a PE.